Hi everyone, my name is Alisa and this is my YouTube channel. A couple of days ago I did the hike to Akatenango and my uh, legs still hurt, so that's the right time to tell you my advices and my experience. So the hike to Akatenango is one of the most beautiful and popular things you can do while you are in Guatemala, because Guatemala is the country of volcanoes and uh, Akatenango is one of the most uh, interesting ones. First of all, it's one of the highest, it's almost 4,000 meters high. And secondly, when you are there, you see other two volcanoes, Agua and Fuego. Fuego is an active volcano, so you can also see an eruption. And the view is, yeah, it's just amazing. In this video, you will see uh, what you can expect from this hike. Uh, and also I will tell you what to pack, which is really important. And in the end of the video, I will uh, tell you some practical advices if you're going there, or if you're still designing as well. And I will uh, share with you my experience, how I chose the agency and how much it costed. The morning started at 7 a.m. at the tour agency where we had breakfast all together, briefing and could uh, choose our equipment. <laughs> we just started half an hour ago. It's heavy, but it's fine. Our hike started at 10.30 and it was already quite hot. It takes five to six hours the camp and keep in mind that the trail is really steep and slippery which makes it all together really exhausting uh, so the advice number one you need to have a proper shoes out of our group of 33 three persons didn't make it uh, and they had to come back and the main reason were the shoes also another challenge is the backpack uh, which is quite heavy because you have water for one day and a half you have your warm stuff the food but there is uh, an option you can order a service of a porter it's an extra cost but i think it worth it i did it on the way up and i really happy uh, for this decision because i think without a porter i would kind of die or never make it to the end at the end of the hike, my phone was showing that I did 262 floors up and imagine doing it with the heavy backpack. So we just came after five hours and a half of walking. I'm still tired, but I'm so happy. Yeah. Actually, there was no moment when I thought I cannot do it. I always thought I can do it and it's hard, but you can do it. It's doable. Uh, and here in the chasm, there are dogs. Actually, this one followed us since the beginning of the way and now people eat for food. And this is the view. From the camp you see Volcano Fuego, which is the main reason most of people come here. And it's an active volcano and you can make uh, an additional hike to there, but it's another four hours of a really exhausting uh, hike. We didn't do that, but we enjoyed super nice view from the base. This is our home for tonight. Quite Spartan but it has a great view. While after the sunset it was really freezing, we enjoyed a lot staying near the fire and knowing new people. Some nights you can see the eruption of the volcano with the lava going down. We didn't see that, we've seen just a tiny bit of eruption, but the night was beautiful with lots of stars. And here what you can see before the sunrise. Okay guys, so we 
are about to go back uh, to Antigua uh, from the volcano and I want to show you what we packed and what was necessary what was less necessary because as long as you have to bring it on your back and every gram <laughs> matters I will show you uh, the most useful things of course uh, a heavy coat because in the night it was super cold now I'm taking it off because it's already better so I kind of used it only in the night time but people who made additional hikes they needed it also for hikes We rented all, all of this, almost all of this, because we're traveling with few things and we need to be Okay, uh, then uh, you need to have as much layers as you can bring, because it's better. So this one is quite cold, again, uh, hot. I use it only in the night time and it was a bit hot. So I don't need it anymore, fortunately. So now I'll leave this and maybe later I will only use this one. Uh, then sunglasses. If you have long hair, use this for your hair. Uh, the pants. This one I used in the night time. I wish they would be hotter because this is like the summer pants but it's the only one I had so I would advise you to bring jeans or something again I use it only in the night then shirts I have two pairs of uh, shorts for the hike of course socks better two pairs uh, shoes we bought them in the market for a very few money but they were second hand uh, what else hat I use it in the night. The light, they bring, give it to you in the agency. Also, they advise to bring rain coat. Fortunately, it wasn't raining, but if it rains, it helps. Scarf. <laughs> um, and what else? I think, uh, yeah, of course. Gloves, really important again for the night because it was so calm, cold. This thing. I didn't use it so much, but over weather scarf for this can serve, especially if you go in the windy places and do additional hikes. And then water, as much as you can bring. They told us to bring uh, three bottles like this uh, per person. So it's like four liters and a half. For us it was enough, maybe more than enough, we still have a bunch of it, but some people who did additional hikes, uh, I'm sure they drank more. Uh, I think that's all you need. Have a good hike. And I forgot to mention these poles, they are really helpful. So we are ready to go down. experience and it's not for everyone and my advice to you before you go there is to think twice because some people they start the hike then they quit but they already paid and you know it's not the best uh, situation that's why uh, yeah think twice and if you're not strong enough if you don't feel strong enough you can try to train a little bit in advance don't think it's like impossible experience. I'm not a super hiker, I'm not Olympic champion. Actually, I did just a couple of hikes in my life and I did it. I'm still alive and I'm fine, but uh, it was quite hard. And if you really wanna go there and you don't feel like you're doing it, uh, I heard that there are some companies which offer another type of the tour uh, you can go closer to the viewpoint by the car and then to make a smaller hike, not five hours hike like we did. Uh, this experience is a little bit more expensive, but maybe it's worth it. Uh, 
uh, what about our experience and the, the agency and the costs? We made uh, an overnight hike. So the first day you go up, then you sleep in the camp, and the next morning you go down. Most of the agencies in uh, Antigua, they offer this kind of tour. And uh, the tour also includes meals, transportation, camping, and basic equipment. The price is generally around 100 uh, US dollars, more or less, in good agencies. And with this price, you sleep in a shared room with six to 12 people. As long as we slept in double uh, cabin, it costed a little bit more, 275 uh, USD for two, uh, for me and my husband. And also we paid some extra charges. Uh, we didn't have a backpack, so we rented it. We also rented um, uh, hiking poles, which were really uh, useful and we paid to a porter. So in total, it was $360 for us. Plus, uh, we bought on the market in Antigua hiking shoes. You can find uh, not only new, but also secondhand. Uh, as long as we really don't have uh, enough luggage, room in the luggage, we bought um, the secondhand hiking shoes and the next day we bring it back to the vendor. Uh, of course, he didn't give us any money back, but it was just not to throw away, but to give to someone. So how to choose the agency? There are really many agencies and I chose uh, ours after reading the reviews and uh, because it's uh, quite a sustainable agency. They offer vegan food, they offer free food for dogs. Also, they never use uh, horses to bring heavy stuff up to the mountain, which I think is really nice. Uh, but as long as it wasn't, you know, the perfect experience and there were some pros and cons, I'm not going to tell you the name of the agency. Better make a research yourself and uh, choose the right one for you. Another thing to look uh, to uh, is what they actually include in the price, because some agencies include also entrance ticket to the reserve and it's a, a price which you have to pay anyway. Some of them they don't exclude, so you need to bring uh, money with you. And also, mm, may, uh, conditions may differ. Some agencies, they propose to sleep in cabins like us or in tents, which I think is even uh, more freezing, you know. <laughs> and then uh, the equipment can be different, the included ones. So our agency had a good choice of equipment as well. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Mm, other couple of advices, uh, even if the food is included, don't forget to take snacks. We didn't have snacks and I was, you know, thinking many times during this hike that I wish I would have snacks. And also we didn't bring any money with us because uh, in the agency they told us that we'd, we don't need uh, any money. But I didn't know that on the way, uh, even in, on the volcano, there are vendors who sell some snacks, extra water, and even a beer if you want to drink, uh, take it to, to the camp, you know, from the higher point, not from the city. So maybe uh, just take some extra money and you can uh, buy something if you wish so. I think that is it. I hope this video was useful for you. And uh, if you have some more questions and I didn't cover something, just write in the comments. Usually I answer in a couple of days. And Please follow my channel if you want to see more information and more videos about Guatemala, about Mexico and about other places. Thank you. Bye bye.